Shalom, welcome back to YouTube on ChabadByTheSea.com So we start a new book of the Torah this week, the fifth book of the five, the book of Devarim, Deuteronomy. Right at the beginning of the book, which is entirely spoken in Moshe's voice, Moshe is re, uh, repeating, recounting the Torah and the events of the last 40-some years to the Jewish people, Moshe starts with a gentle reminder and admonition uh, for all of the uh, faux pas of the Jewish people over the last 40 years in the desert. And an interesting question is raised by the Hasidic masters. They ask, why would Moshe admonish the people subtly? On the one hand, if they have repented for their sins, then well, Jewish law says you shouldn't remind the repentant of their sins. On the other hand, if they have not yet completely repented, then why is it subtle? Why not a blatant admonition? Why not tell them off the way, uh, the, way the prophets, only, only the prophets could? The answer is this. Certainly they've done the proper teshuva, they've done the proper repentance, and not only that, it's not even the same people. It's the next generation. But, in order to enter into Israel, the promised land, in order to in order to obtain the goal of reaching the promised land, they had to have the awareness and the appreciation of all of the struggle and all of the hardship and all of the um, challenges that that uh, getting there came with. So, getting to the promised land isn't simply an easier stage in life. It's not simply um, okay, we've accomplished. Now, it's much more than that. It's the result of years and years of struggle and of trouble and of effort and of success and some failure and some learning and some growing, always growing from even the failures. Now, this is true in our lives as well, of course. Everything that we go through in life is part of who we are. We shouldn't attempt to leave behind our negative experiences simply because they're unpleasant. On the contrary, everything that we experience makes us who we are, and when we finally achieve, when we reach the promised land in whatever the case may be, we reach that goal with everything that it took to get there. And that's what helps us to appreciate the true value of that goal once it's achieved. So let's embrace the challenges that we have. Sometimes the best things come only after challenges. Let's embrace those challenges and take them with us and grow from them and then the results of our mitzvahs and the results of our efforts are all the greater. Shabbat Shalom until next week, and I hope you can join me on the radio every Wednesday evening, 7 to 8 p.m., 1080 KSCO. Until then, Shabbat Shalom.